Hello everyone. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before starting the video, please go ahead and hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up thank you. Would Dennis Quaid rather play coach or athlete in a legendary sports movie? This week's Chicago PD continued the new storyline of Deputy Superintendent Samantha Miller, Nicole Airy Parker, butting heads with Hank Voigt, Jason Bake. Wednesday's episode, White Knuckle, saw Miller push Voigt and intelligence to close the case quickly when suspicion fell on an ex-cop son. Meanwhile, Kevin Atwater, Leroyce Hawkins, had a decision to make after being assaulted by a group of fellow officers in the previous installment. Here's what happened in the latest Chicago PD episode for each of your favorite characters, starting with Chicago PD opens with Atwater installing a security system at his house, much to the chagrin of his brother Jordan. He then goes to work where he's getting faulty equipment and a lot of dirty looks from random background cops. He's also been locked out of the department computer system. Luckily, a wild void appears. Atwater tells him about being beaten up, but still doesn't want any of Void's help. He rides with his boss to a new scene where the son of an ex-cop turned alderman is cradling his dead friend and a knife. Did he stab her? Atwater is able to convince Billy Bradham to drop the knife and Void arrests him for murder. Back at the district, Kim Burgess, Marina Swerciati, tells Voight that the victim is Billy's 18-year-old friend Isla, while Adam Rusick, Patrick John Fluger, adds that Billy has been in half a dozen drug rehab facilities. And Deputy Superintendent Miller is already hovering. She wants Billy charged right away and reminds Voight that he can't get any special treatment. Voight is confused since he's never even met Billy's dad and Billy's not even coherent yet. Regardless, he and Atwater try to interview Billy. He says that the man in the apartment killed Isla and gives a description of a white man in a suit. Voight tells his team to run it out. He's not going to charge Billy until he's sure there wasn't someone else. A woman outside the building tells Ruzik and Atwater about seeing a blue car at 2 a.m. The alderman comes to the district to rant and rave. He tells Voight, I know who you are, before Miller intervenes. While she calms him down, Burgess confirms that the blue car does exist. But Upton has a counterpoint. Billy's description also sounds a lot like the TV news in Corman. But hold up because Miller is chewing out Voight for not charging Billy. He says if their suspect were African-American and not the son of an ex-cop, she'd be singing a different tune. I don't care who his father is, he says. You do. Miller relents and agrees to let Voight finish his investigation. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe to our Chicago Pete official channel and stay with us.